time is, is the NFL alumni and Roland Oldman, who is the vice president of the alumni in, in the Northeast. I, I thank you for always being there for us. Uh, and you know who the NFL is. Well, these are the alumni, and many of them are here in the room. So uh, I appreciate you guys and what you've done for us. Uh, and the third one is Shaw uh, Turf. Uh, Shaw has, you know, in fact, one of Shaw's best, Bobby Zarino, it was his conception of this whole idea of having this event. I mean, the first time that we were... Bobby! 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 The first time that we had something, it was a gala, it was a sit-down dinner, and like most galas to me, they're pretty boring, right? I mean, you eat and you have your stuff with the other six people are sitting there with you. But here, it's more of a networking and it's open. And, and really, it's to honor the coaches. So I, I think this is a great venue, and, and I see the success that we've had over the last few years. And Bobby didn't just come up with the idea, and he actually put, you know, he, he rolled up his sleeves and, and really went after a lot of sponsors. He first went to Shaw and said, hey, can you guys help us out? And then and he continued to help. And, and so I really appreciate him. Um, just a little bit about it, and I'm going to take two minutes, if I can still have your attention. I'm going to take two minutes to say what educating athletes is all about. And it's basically, the name says it all. We are trying to educate student athletes about different aspects of, it, of, of basically being an athlete and a student. Uh, initially, we were very focused on recruiting and helping student athletes get to the next level. And when I say next level, not just to play football, but more importantly, to get an education. So our thrust was, Basically, you know, if you were a two-star or a three-star, someone who's really in the bubble, how do we push you to the next level? And sometimes it was something like the SATs that held you back, or it could have been that you didn't really know the process. So we got engaged and we were doing that. Uh, but I think now we're looking to expand our focus and not only to the recruiting world, but also into areas that really impact student athletes, and one of which is opioids, for example, or concussions or time management, things that they're going to need in life, things that they're going to need when they get to the next level when they do go to college, so for them to be successful. So we uh, we first started, one thing that we did last year or this year, or you think what it was last year, we had a big clinic, uh, basically I consider a seminar in, in Hackensack, which I believe is very successful. We had over 300 people there. We had 12 college coaches from D1 to D3, and we went through the process of recruiting, and we're looking to do three of those next year. The other thing that's coming out in January, I'm still not done, wait. In January, we're gonna roll out a video course that's gonna be about 32 different videos explaining the process. So we're gonna be calling new coaches to really begin to distribute that through your different players and, and parents that really need to understand how this whole thing, it's not just playing on the field, but you also have to understand the process of how to get recruited, how to actually maximize your chances to get a scholarship. So in that same vein, I'm going to turn it over to Bobby so that he can introduce our speaker, uh, which really talks about the next step that we're really embarking on.